Okay, this is the next end scale update. Um, basically, got the silver bow yard half ballasted, and it's the first time I used my airbrush. So this is what it looked like first. I used a burnt umber and black. Blacks for like oil spots or heavy creosote. So I did just this yard. This whole yard is glued in now. The middle two tracks weren't. Changed switches. I added a set here and uh, I flipped these around or something. I don't remember. This building is lined up. These are glued here, but it goes here at an angle. This is like a one story two stall uh, shop and this is the one that was there forever I think it looks better here so that one's kind of big this one is it's taller so this is the Northern Pacific um, this got this got glued in and I cut a uh, paint stirrer in half and um, painted and glued in an L for the platform and then I added a little bit of ballast here for a parking lot um, and a little road because you need a road to the station so I have to take out the excess glue I just slice it off with a Ulfa knife and then this scene is done um, I have to change the station name I have to figure out what I'm gonna call it I do not know so <laughs> it's gonna be have to be something made up but whatever so get that done once this is all finished like up to there uh, which will be done in a day or so <clears throat> then I'm gonna ballast and paint in here where all these cars that were in the yard are sitting so these two tracks they're not painted ever I replaced uh, a couple bent tracks in the layout and I don't remember where they all were but just some of the unit tracks have been used so many times uh, from other layouts this crossover is flipped and there's the insulated joiners so now we can do the passing um a meet i ordered two signals they're two light aspect like two singles um i forgot that i would need which i should know this because i'm a conductor um i need six for this location i think yeah four or six not two I'm thinking one here and one there, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it would have to go here. <laughs> what about this side? So, basically, I was going to put one there. I ordered two of them from China. And then this here, this through these diamonds, is the other side of the... Like, here's the main line. Here's the passing siding. And then it goes all the way here. This is like a third of my layout. But that's good. So if you were to stretch this out, like if this wasn't a room, these corners, like this part of the layout here, was straight. And this part of the layout right here was straight. And this part that's angled here was completely over there and straight against this wall. So it was basically unfolded. That's your east-west. Um, what else is done here? Oh, I took out all the double track on the back it's too hard to clean I can put it back in I haven't ripped out anything I figured I just took it off and cleaned it and I kind of wonder if that's what I did when I designed it I think that's what I was thinking so if you don't know go watch the Tyler classic collection the tops of these except for the corners the corners are the Woodland Scenics foam um, 
it's it's trim like for the bottom of your wall mdf board on a little shelf brackets and then there's a plaster cloth going over top and there's some foam shoved in there periodically so it goes all the way around up to here and then it would cross over on this goes around in a circle and then basically it's a double track so one track again there's a bridge here and then all in there so what i'm preparing for is i fixed almost all of the wiring issues i put in new feeders where i needed to there was lots of problems and that's all kind of handled in the process of being handled when it is then i want to go back to clean up the ba the, the basement layout here so um this scene i kind of was just like sick of moving it around and getting it bumped so i took grass mat hot glued it on this here it worked awesome um this is a little bit of ballast and it's supposed to be weeds utility trucks uh, poorly painted Walther's coal power plant. So I'm going to either call it Utah Power and Light or Wyoming Power or something like that. Notice there's CB and Q hoppers. They've got this big truck as a kind of a mining truck or whatever that I got with that fire truck a lot. It's supposed to be a fire, like for forest fires, I guess. I don't know. But if you are uh, from up here, there's a place called Shand and Boundary Dam. And there are two coal power plants in the southern part of my province. And <clears throat> basically, like I, they were my customers. Go buy them on the railroad as a conductor. I used to sell things to them. But anyway, there's a strip mining, drag strip machine. And they dig it right up beside the coal power plant. It doesn't go on a train. It goes by truck and conveyor. So um, it's a really weird place because the entire, you know, top of the earth has been removed and there's buildings in that mine, if you think about it. Um, they've changed it so the lake gets all the hot water, the boiled water that it's still kind of warm, gets dumped from the coal power plant into the into the lake. So the lake is warm. It's, it's, it's I don't know, it's like being on another planet when you're there. You'd have to go. <laughs> so the Boundary Dam is a four unit coal power plant and Shand looks exactly like this. It's not blue, SAS Power is uh, light gray, green stripes on Shand. Um, it was, I think it was built in like 1991 or something like that, which is really late for coal power plant. They both have to be converted to, there's a bunch of oil down there. So oil wells converted to um, geothermal is one. They have an option of doing that, which I hope they do. They're studying that. And then... Uh, the other thing is, uh, it'll probably just convert to natural gas. So, anyway, I love power plants, is the moral of that story. Uh, I put in these little, uh, kind of like grass mats for, as if there's kind of farmland nearby. Like, I mean, it's a pretty compressed farm, but it allows me to put, like, you know, other guys doing stuff. So, um basically finish the, the painting and ballast of the track um, up to here and then you know start doing this little town uh, because I took the station and put it over there uh, this station is uh, gonna get built and go here so I think that's pretty much everything uh, there's a mess in here I have to clean but probably in the next video I'll have uh, the rest of that done all right, see you then.